Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Optifine with Forge. Yes, Optifine and Forge installed in Minecraft 1.17.1 together. We're going to be going over every single step of doing this in this video. Now, one thing that has actually changed from previous versions is we do need to make sure we're getting the correct version of Forge here. So make sure you watch through this entire tutorial and really, you know, see what I'm doing because if you get the wrong version of Forge, this will not work. I want to address that right away. If this doesn't work for you, most likely you don't have the correct version of Forge for Optifine. So we're going to go over that all in this video, so be sure to watch and, and watch closely for that. I'll, I'll point out specifically when that is when we get to that part, uh, you know, uh, make sure we make note of it. But nevertheless, first of all, most we do have is our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. It's your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. It can be a Forge server. It can be a vanilla server. It can be any kind of Minecraft server you want, and it can be started quickly and easily at Apex. We actually have a system so much, we host our own server. Play at breakdowncraft.com on Apex Minecraft Hosting, so check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get that up and running nevertheless first and foremost we need to get optifine so to do that you want to go to the second link down below that's going to take you here this is our tutorial for optifine but why i keep this and link out to something like this even though you can't use this to install optifine with forge is because if the optifine download link ever changes it will be correct here so I'll scroll down click on that green download optifine link and that'll take you to the optifine download page now when you're here this is what's important you want to look right here in this blank space. Now, if there's nothing there, that means you want to click Preview Versions. If there is something there, it will say Forge like this version down here. So if you see Forge right here, go ahead, click on Mirror. If you don't see Forge here, I repeat, if you do not see Forge here, right, it's blank, you want to go ahead and click on Preview Versions, which is what we have to do. Basically, right now, Optifine with Forge is in beta. It's not out stably. It's still going to have some issues and things like that and some bugs in it, so it's in Preview Versions. Once you see a Forge version here, make note of that version. So in our case, that's Forge 37.0.65. So I would recommend, honestly, copying this and then pasting it in Notepad. It is that important. So we can come over here, paste this in Notepad. That way we have it later. And then we're going to go ahead and go next to this version and click on the mirror button here, this little mirror link. When you click on that, you then want to click on the download button here, and Optifine will download just like you expect in the bottom left. You will need to keep or save it on the bottom left of Google Chrome. You may need to save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now we can move on to Forge. Now, remember, this is the version of Forge we want. Now that doesn't, it's not a Minecraft version or anything, so that can get a little confusing, but just make sure you have the Forge version that was on the Optifine page written down or in Notepad or somewhere where you can reference it back. Once you go though to the third link down below, it's going to take you here to our Forge tutorial. Once you get the correct version of Forge, this will show you how to install Forge. We're going to be going over the basics in this and you should be able to, you should be good after this video, but if you do have any issues, this tutorial here will help you. Now let's go ahead and click on the green download Forge button. That will take us off to Forge's official website where we want to make sure 1.17 is selected on the left hand side, specifically 1.17.1. And then we want to come over here. Now what we want to do is come down to show all versions. Then we want to see what version Optifine is compatible with. So Optifine is compatible with 37.0.65. You can currently see we're on Forge version 37.0.103. So it's not going to work with this most recent version. We need to go all the way down to where it says 37.0.65. You see that right there? 37.0.65. Maybe the editor can zoom in on that because it's kind of hard to see. But that's what we're looking for because that is the same version that Optifine had, right? So once you found this version, we want to come over here and click on the installer button on the right. We click on that installer button. We zoom back out and we're on this page. We're stop. Don't click anything on this page. What are you doing? I said, put your hands in the air. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever, except the red skip button that appears in the top right. There will be a red skip button that appears in the top right. Click on that red skip button and in the bottom left, Forge will start downloading. As long as it says Forge in the title, specifically Forge 1.17.1, you're going to go ahead and keep that file in the bottom left. You may need to save it in the super screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now we minimize our browser. We can go ahead and actually minimize the notepad as well. And we want to get these files. For me, they're in my downloads folder. For you, they might be somewhere else. But to get them out of your downloads folder, click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. And then in here, you will find, of course, Forge and Preview Optifine. Just go ahead and drag those to the desktop. Now, yours may not say Preview Optifine. Doesn't matter. As long as it had Forge next to it, when you downloaded it, you are good, whether it says Preview or not. To get this started off, we're going to be starting off with Forge. And if your logos don't look like mine, no worries. But go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, 
click on Java and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, here's what you need to do. Go to the description down below and go to this link. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Forge and Optifine are modding Minecraft, so they are Minecraft mods, and you need this version of Java. It goes through every single step to get it. You may then need to run the jar fix. This is going to take the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java. However, not everyone will have to do that. If your files look weird, they don't look like mine, run the jar fix after downloading Java, and that will fix it. Let's go ahead and right-click on Forge again, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. They'll open up the Forge mod system installer, but then we just want to click on Install Client and click OK. It's then going to download, install, set up Forge, and do everything we need to do to get Forge installed for Optifine. Once that's finished, it will come up and say, sexually installed Forge profile, there we go, sexually installed client profile Forge. The only reason it would fail, by the way, is if for whatever reason, Minecraft hadn't been ran before in 1.17.1. If that's the case, go play Minecraft 1.17.1, come back, and this will work. Go ahead and click OK here, and it will close out of Forge. Now we need to open up the Minecraft launcher. Now if you've used Forge in the past, be careful here because it might not be correct. I would actually recommend everyone watching this video not use the Forge profile here. As you can see, that's not the version we need. So if we look at this, this is Forge version 37.0.95 for me. That's not the right version. We need 0.0.65, right? Even this one right here is correct, but still make sure that it is the same version as what is Optifine there. Now, if you don't have the correct version, here is what you need to do. You need to come up here at the top and click on installations. Then make sure you have this modded button checked. If you didn't have this Forge profile, that might be why. And if you do have this Forge profile, you want to use it, make sure it's the correct version. But just know if you ever update Forge, it could cause issues. That's why I would recommend creating a new installation. So what you want to do is from installations here, click new installation. You can name the server you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Just make sure you name it something that you'll know is Forge and Optifine. Then go ahead and click on the uh, latest release drop down here and select the version of Forge that Optifine needed. So in our case, that was version 37.0.65. So that's going to be release 1.17.1 Forge at the end. 37.0.65. Now, yours may be different. Your version of Forge may be different, and that's okay. But make sure whatever version of Forge was on Optifine's website is listed right there. Then we want to go ahead, update our resolution. You don't have to do that. I'm just doing it so we can see once we get in game. Click create. And then we want to go ahead and click on this play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Click the green play button here. Confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft and click the green play button again. That's going to open up Minecraft. And now we can get Optifine installed. At this point, it's like any other Forge mod. Now, do keep in mind, we are using an older version of Forge. There will be bugs. We're also using a beta or preview version of Optifine. There will be bugs. At the time I'm recording this, everything's kind of buggy. Eventually, Forge will work with the latest version, or Optifine will work with the latest version of Forge without much of any problem. But at the time we're recording this, both of them are still in beta. So that means they're kind of barely working together, right? And that's why we need to make sure we're getting the correct version of Forge for Optifine. You can see Forge is in beta there. Once we are on the Minecraft main menu, though, we can go ahead and click on the Mods button, and then we can go ahead and click on the Open Mods folder button in the bottom left. Then I'll open our Mods folder. We want to take Optifine, drag and drop it into the Mods folder, right like so. Now, that's not going to make Optifine appear in game. To do that, we do need to quit the game, but again, just drag and drop Optifine into the Mods folder. It's that simple. Now, once we're back on the main menu, we can open up the Minecraft launcher. We we want to make sure we're playing Minecraft with the Forge version that was on Optifine's website. So that's why I said creating a new installation could be helpful, which is what we've done because we know this one's always going to be correct. Remember, this Forge installation will change when you update Forge. This one that you create yourself will not. Let's go ahead and click the green play button. Might have to confirm we want to play modern Minecraft again. I didn't. It's now going to open up Minecraft and Optifine will be installed. There's one more trick and one more thing though I need to show you before you click off of this video. Because if you go to the mods tab, it's not going to look like Optifine's installed. I'll show you how to access the Optifine features even though it doesn't look like the Optifine mod is installed. It's kind of weird how Optifine runs with Forge, but yeah, nevertheless, it is what it is. It's just weird. And yeah, that's kind of that. I don't know what else to say other than it is a little weird. So here we are in the Minecraft main menu. If we click on mods, Optifine's not there, just like I said. But if we click on options and then we click on video settings, look at that in the bottom left, we do have Optifine HD H1 underscore pre seven. That means Optifine is installed and looking good. We also have shaders here. We have all of the things that you would expect out of Optifine. Again, though, I cannot stress it enough that there are bugs. There are issues with both Forge and Optifine, so expect 
well, expect things to go a little wrong occasionally, and that's okay. So here you have it. This is PlaydarBreakdownCraft.com Aquatic Survival. Someone is freaking out. And uh, yeah, it's an absolutely amazing experience. Breakdown Craft, and you now have Optifine installed with Forge. You can install other Forge mods if you want. No problems there. And uh, something I would recommend doing. Just add them to your Forge mods like you normally would, right? Cool stuff there. But do keep in mind... The Forge is in an older version. Optifine is in a beta version. There will be bugs. I keep mentioning that because it's something that's going to happen. Weird black parts on the screen. Weird, you know, like fuzziness. Blocks disappearing. Things like that can happen easily with Forge being in beta in addition to Optifine being in beta. So, now you know, though, that is how to add Optifine to Forge and use it. If you go into options again, we can see video settings. There is everything. Nevertheless, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.